good evening people i'm audible for everyone right so uh, before we start with today's session let me just tell you an interesting case <coughs> now let us assume all of you who are sitting here i give you 86400 rupees in your pocket right and i ask you that you have to spend that money within a day there is a challenge that i am not going to give you the provision to have any kind of saving account at the same time you cannot lend that money to anyone and you cannot carry forward that money to the next day as well the condition is that you have to spend that 86400 rupees on this very same day in case by evening you do not spend the money then i am going to forfeit that money if i give you this situation the most ideal thing is that you would decide to spend all the money wisely on the very same day who wants to let go of the money right so if i tell you that such kind of opportunity all of us has every day how much time is credited in your life in the very morning 86400 seconds do you get my point time is money you have to decide how to judicially use that 86400 seconds on the same day i know you must be wondering that ma'am today the session is about essay not time management i absolutely agree to it yes it is about essay writing you know something time management is very important if you want to nail the essay paper and time management is within our hands the point which i'm saying or which i want to convey is that every year every passing year i'm observing who are able to clear or who are able to nail this essay paper and who is not able to nail the essay paper and one thing what i have observed is the problem is not that you don't know how to write the essay the problem is you don't want to write the essay i can tell you how to write the essay i can't make you write the essay that is one thing which has to be done by you i as a teacher can open the door for you but you need to enter so the challenge of today's session is not to tell you how to write the essay it is to convince you that you would want to write the essay so the entire 2 hours that you are there with me today i will make sure to open this door for you but then you have to promise once the session is over everyone who's in the class and who's watching the session online you are going to write you are going to enter that door and practice essay writing because in case you don't practice no amount of this lecture is going to serve any purpose for you is it something new which i'm going to discuss today you know the nuances of essay writing you might have heard it from so many toppers you might have gone through so many mentors and you might have gone through the scripts also of the people who have cleared the exam i would not be telling you anything new all i'm just trying to do is convince you that this is one of the way of essay writing and please start practicing essay writing is that very clear on this note we will start with today's session is that very clear now <coughs> before we start the essay paper i'm generally the session i'm generally asking do you realize why don't you or i'm asking that why don't you guys write essay what can be the possible reason why don't we even start writing essay fine we have lack of proper understanding how to go about it anything else lack of confidence to right i have been getting so many mails and every day student is asking me ma'am we are fearful of writing we are fearing writing even 10 marker so writing a 1200 word essay is all the more intimidating task are you getting the point now i will try to make your job slightly easier if i tell you stop taking essay paper as a challenge but take it as an opportunity don't you think your job will become easier what am i trying to say is <coughs> do you have any idea how much is the highest in essay paper 
It used to be 176. 2016 highest was 176. 2017 was 175. Of late, since the time philosophical essays have been introduced, the highest are declining. But even then, 150 plus has been the highest. So, on an average, 60 percent can be scored in this paper. Is there any other GS paper in which you can score 150? Uh, there was a time when ethics may one of the students scored more than 150, but otherwise, is there any other paper barring optional which gives you the opportunity to score 150 plus? No. Let's take it as an opportunity. This is one paper which gives you that edge over others so as to ensure your name is in the list. Is that very clear? Second thing, do you realize that you don't have to study anything separately for essay? And how do you get to know that whether you have to study something in essay or not? We'll just discuss through syllabus, but you don't have to study anything. Do you realize how much you study for GS Paper One, Art and Culture, Modern History, World History, Post Independence, Society, Geography? How much are you studying? Same goes for GS Paper Two. Same goes for GS Paper Three. Same goes for optional. But when it comes down to essay, you don't have to study anything separately. All you need to do is whatever you have been studying, you have to put it in the template which can be fit into the essay writing. That template making we will discuss today. Is that very clear? Do you realize that this is one paper which gives you the opportunity to be creative? आप मन में सोचोगे वही तो challenge है we are not creative. But you don't realize that creativity is something which is actually inborn. Each one of you is creative. It's just that you don't have confidence about your creativity. See, I'll tell you how. In polity paper, if the question is asked, you are going to answer it from the political perspective. Say uniform civil code. If the same question is asked in GS paper one, you are going to answer it from social perspective. If same question is asked in GS paper four, you are going to answer it from ethical perspective. Then it becomes a challenge. How to write a 10 marker or a 12.5 marker or 15 marker? But in essay paper, there is no set template. The same issue you can discuss from as many dimensions as you want. Whatever you intend to write, provided it is contextually correct, you can write that. So it is giving you the opportunity to be creative. I'll tell you another thing. I don't know whether you guys have experienced it or not, but when you read newspaper. Or any article in the news, or any new content, you come across a new quotation. Let me say that, or you come across a new example. Doesn't it give you a kick? I'm going to use it. आज मैंने ये पढ़ा है. ये तो किसी ने नहीं सोचा होगा. This I'm going to write. अच्छा लगता है ना? That feel-good factor is there. That today I've read something new, and this can be used, and this will enable me to fetch extra marks. Why not take essay as this opportunity? Whatever new things that you are reading every day, whatever things you are coming across in your newspaper, in your content, through some topper script, the best way of doing it and the easiest way, topper's ki script pakar lo, unhone bhot mehnat kari hui hai. Usi me se chura lete hain thoda sa. Ham usse keh denge we are inspired. Plagiarism nahi chalta UPSC me. So are you getting what I'm trying to say? And that will give you an inner kick. Oh, I've learned something new and I will use that. Then you will stop fearing essay paper. You will stop getting intimidated by it because you are ready to take on that challenge. Is that very clear? So, with this mindset, enter into the preparation. I'll tell you something. I don't know whether you guys have realized it off late or not. This exam is all about the psychological setup. What kind of mental makeup you have to prepare for this exam? Stop taking this exam as some kind of hawa. It is a normal exam. It's just that we need to be more disciplined, more persistent in our efforts, and we have to have a right kind of strategy. And trust me, you will sail through. Is that very clear? So it is your attitude which determines your altitude. Have a positive attitude, and you will sail through this paper. Is that clear? See. <coughs> This is one thing which I genuinely believe, and I have been saying this again and again, that this is only paper, barring optional, which gives you the opportunity to write the essay on the topic of your interest. But there is a small challenge here, and the challenge is you have to convince the reader about what you have written in the essay. So how you are going to convince them? That we will discuss 
today. So essay is like a double-edged sword. So it is an opportunity to write the essay on the topic of your interest, but at the same time, there is a small challenge that you have to convince the person who is reading your essay with respect to your viewpoint. Is it very clear? So if you ask me in simple words, <coughs> what is an essay? So I'll just say that essay consists of Just remember these three things. Never take your essay as a report. Never consider your essay as an article. Essay is a discussion on the matter under consideration. Whatever topic it is, whether it is philosophical, whether it is issue-based, that needs to be discussed in your essay. And discussion has to have the clarity with respect to your viewpoint, with respect to that issue. And not only you are expressing your viewpoint, you are convincing the reader with respect to your viewpoint. Do you understand you can have altogether a different viewpoint with respect to the same topic? This time there was a topic, hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. There have so many people who have written on this topic and everyone has altogether a different perspective. The one who was able to convince the examiner with respect to their perspective have fetched the marks and one who were not able to, they have not fetched the marks. There are people who, with the same essay, had scored 130 plus, and there are people who have written the same essay, yet they have hovered around double digit. So that is all about convincing the examiner about your viewpoint. And more the subjective topic, more it is philosophical in nature, more is the importance of convincing the examiner. Because your interpretation of the topic can be very different from mine. Is that very clear for everyone? Okay. Now, before we start, <coughs> this is one thing I've been telling like day in, day out. Please be aware about your syllabus, whether it is any paper, whether it is GS paper, it is optional paper, or it is any other paper, you have to be thorough with the syllabus. Very quickly go through the four points of the syllabus. Can you see it on the screen? The first thing it says, remain as close to the topic as possible. Arrange the arguments in the orderly fashion. Third, concise presentation and the reward would be given for exact and effective expression. I was wondering, nowhere they have written economy, society, geography, ethics. No, that's not there. I think they forgot. No, they didn't forget. They knew you were already studying these things. So they did not mention it. So next time, do not even bother to ask which book to read for essay. Because there is no standard book to read for essay. Anyway, do you realize you are preparing the content for essay? You are already reading history, geography, polity, economy, society, culture. You're reading so much, such an extensive reading. You don't have to read anything separately for essay. Since philosophical essays are being asked now with every passing year, your ethics should be very strong. So if your GS paper 4 is strong, automatically it would be reflected in your philosophical essays as well. Is that very clear? Okay. Now let's very quickly have a look at these points. The first point, see syllabus tells us the expectation of UPSC. So the first point says remain as close to the topic as possible. That means they are acknowledging the fact that essay in itself is a very subjective paper. So each one of you writing the same thing is not possible. So whichever topic is given, make sure you are as close to the topic as possible. Every argument that you are writing in the essay should be in sync with the demand of the topic. So I'll give you a small hint. Whenever you write an argument, in your subconscious mind, try to link the argument with the demand of the essay. The flow will always be maintained. You will not digress from the main theme of the essay. Is that very clear? Is capitalism promoting inclusive growth? 
biased media is a threat to Indian democracy. Every point that you are writing in the essay, make sure it is directly answering the theme. So after you finish the paragraph or a point, you have to tell yourself in the subconscious mind the statement which is the topic of the essay. Automatically, you will remain in connect with the topic. Is that very clear? The second is you have to arrange the points in the orderly fashion, which I'll take up in another 15 minutes. I'll tell you, wo coherence word use karte na? Bade log bolte hai, aise mein coherence hona chahiye, coherence hona chahiye, pata hai nahi coherence kya hota hai. To hum 10-15 minute mein seekh lenge ki coherence kya hota hai. Ek cheez ki mein guarantee de sakti hu, I can even make the philosophical essay looks very mechanical when you come down to it. Ab matlab writing it. There is a set strategy. And I am not making a joke, I will show all the topers of the script and prove that there is a set pattern. I don't say that that is the best way to write. That is one of the way of writing. If you can nail that, at least you will hover around 130-135 plus. And more you write or more you practice, you can surpass 150 marks. Is that very clear? So we will get down to that point. Third is remain concise. What do you think? How can you remain concise? Notes banaye kabhi? Have you ever tried making notes? When you make the first notes for the first time, isn't it very elaborated? You end up writing everything, nahi nahi, ye bhi ho sakta hai, ye bhi ho sakta hai, ye bhi ho sakta hai, you make a very elaborate notes. Slowly and gradually you realize that you have actually literally copied Lakshmi Kant. So that is how the note making happens. Then you will be making it for the second time when you have gone through some of the previous year questions. So some amount of refining would happen. Then for the third time and fourth time. And finally, you will actually be able to concise the notes within few A4 size sheets. And when that happens, when you have the command over the topic, when you exactly know what is going to be asked and how it is supposed to be answered. So through your essay script, we can tell you how many times you have practiced essay writing. That concise element is missing. You and me would be writing the same points. But if you have practiced essay writing more, the expression, sentence formation, usage of words would be more rich in your case as compared to me. Is that very clear? So concise presentation. It never happens that two friends are talking about each other and one friend is listening to their story and the other person is saying, what do you want to say? It's on the floor. It happens a lot. So that is what the examiner is also saying. What are you trying to tell? Come to the point. Is that very clear? Lastly, <coughs> which I really appreciate about UPSC, they are trying to lure you. That see, we'll give you reward. Extra marking would be there if there is exact and effective expression. Because actually there's a dearth of exact and effective expression. Exact means contextually correct answer. And effective means content-wise your essay is rich. And we will learn today in today's session how it has to be contextually relevant. At the same time, the content can also be enriched. Is that clear? Okay, <coughs> Now, I don't know <coughs> how many of you practice this, but what, why and how? What is supposed to be studied? How it is supposed to be studied? Why it is supposed to be studied? So what is supposed to be done, we have seen. Why it is supposed to be done is very important. You should have the clarity that why you are going to be tested on essay writing. In case you know that, it will be reflected in your paper. I know many of you are waiting for how to nail philosophical essays. Because that is our only concern. Do you know that UPSC is very unpredictable? You might get an attempt where none of the question is philosophical. All eight topics are issue based. UPSC kuch bhi kar sakta hai. Theek hai. So you need to be prepared. And second thing you have to be prepared, that Rome is not built in a day. So if you want to nail that art of philosophical essay writing, you have to understand the basics. And you will realize both philosophical and issue based ka jo structure hai, the template is more or less the same. Theek hai. So the first and foremost thing, why you are getting tested on your essay writing is, it is a test of your knowledge. Now you will be like, what is rocket science, ma'am? I told you first that it is a test of our knowledge. I will tell you what is the difference. Many a times have you heard toppers telling you or your other friends telling you that topic selection was wrong? If I would have chosen another topic, I would have fetched more marks. Isn't it? It happens a lot. 
So you need to understand. With this first argument, I'm trying to bust a myth here. Whenever you choose a topic to write, even an essay paper or even an optional, जहाँ पे भी choice होता है, we have a tendency not to choose the topic which are cliche. For example, till last year. <laughs> एक सेक्शन आता था इश्यू बेस्ड अरे वील नॉट राइट ऑन वीमेन यार एवरी अदर पर्सन इज राइटिंग ऑन वीमेन वी विल नॉट राइट ऑन हेल्थ वी विल नॉट राइट ऑन पॉवर्टी वी विल नॉट राइट ऑन ग्लोबलाइजेशन एवरी वन इज राइटिंग ऑन दिस डू यू रियलाइज दिस एंड वी थिंक लेट्स आंसर अ टॉपिक विच इज आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स विदाउट इवन रियलाइजिंग यू आर आउट ऑफ द लिस्ट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स नॉट अ वन फिफ्टी मार्कर दैट यू हैव टू अटेम्प्ट इट्स ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड वर्ड्स If you do not have a content, please do not attempt the paper. And do you understand what I mean by the content? I'll tell you what you are doing because I have done it in, during my attempt. If I can think of an anecdote, if I can think of an example or a quotation, I said, "Up to me, it's better to कोई ऐसे लिखी नहीं सकता. इससे अच्छा anecdote तो कोई सोच ही नहीं सकता." I have written the anecdote. I have tried to link the anecdote with the topic also. I ended up writing five pages, but. Once I'm done with 500 and 600 words, I realize I don't have content to write now, because I was basking in the glory of that I have written such a beautiful anecdote. I was in the trance world, that as an anecdote, to study examiner, he will give the number, without even realizing that after five six pages, I have nothing to write. It's a 1200 word essay. If you do not have content, please don't attempt it. And anecdotes, quotation, that does not constitute content. What constitute content is the understanding of the topic. And in another half an hour, <coughs> when I'm dealing with philosophical essays, I'll tell you what is the content which I talk about. Or let me just discuss it briefly, abhi only. Do you understand that if this is the topic which is given to you, what I mean by knowledge or what I mean by content is, you know the interpretation of the topic. There are always better practices to best practices. This was the essay UPSC asked. Perception of me is reflection of you, and my reaction to you is awareness of me. This is what they asked, right? What is content here? Content is not the anecdote. Content is not the example. Content here is: Have you understood the topic? If you have interpreted the topic rightly, can you explain this topic? If you can explain this topic, do you have examples from every walk of life to justify that explanation? If you have that much of content, then attempt. And at least seven to eight examples have to be there when it goes down to philosophical essays. If you do not have seven to eight examples, I'll tell you what kind of examples I'm talking about. But at least seven to eight examples have to be there. Otherwise, please do not attempt philosophical topic. That particular philosophical topic. Is this very clear for everyone? Okay. This is what I mean when I talk about knowledge. See. So while you are choosing the topic, please be aware. are you understanding or interpreting the topic correctly for example many people were under this fix that hand that rocks the cradle mein actually likhna kya hai agar doubt ho raha hai chhod do chhod do topic wahin par kyunki khud ko hi nahi convince kar pa rahe ho how would you convince the reader about what you have written leave it there and then no matter how good a story you can think of if you are not convinced within according as per your interpretation of the topic do not attempt that topic is this very clear that's one point theek okay. hai second thing can you see what i have written comprehension skills i'll tell you the reason why i have written this word there are many of you who will ask me ma'am uh, my english is not that good it's okay meri bhi nahi hai aadhi janta ki nahi hai although we have studied most of us from english medium schools because we have taken english as the medium of communication but trust me hum sab ki fees maaf hai english ki तो हम राम भरोसे चलते हैं ठीक है तो अगर कोई ग्रामर हमारा करेक्ट करने बैठ जाए तो पता चल जाएगा कि हम कहाँ हैं सो वट आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू से इज कॉम्प्रीहेंशन स्किल्स बेसिकली मीन योर एस ए शुड बी ल्यूसिड इट शुड बी सिंपल टू अंडरस्टैंड डू यू रियलाइज दैट एग्जामिनर डजन नो यू पर्सनली सो द ओनली मोड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन यू एंड योर एग्जामिनर इज योर स्क्रिप्ट He doesn't care how much you've studied. If your study and your efforts are not reflected in your script, it doesn't make any difference. And do you think he has all the time in the day just to go through your script? And do you really think if he has not corrected it properly, you have the scope of giving him the feedback? Just a vision, me they say, "Yeah, my thing is not checked. Not done. Yeah, see, we have not written the number. We have not done anything. 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 
सो योर एस ए शुड बी ल्यूसिड योर एस ए शुड स्पीक फॉर इट सेल्फ यू शुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड आई टेल यू वन ट्रिक हु सो एवर इज नॉट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी क्योंकि विदाउट एनी डिसरिस्पेक्ट दैट्स अ ट्रेंड इफ यू स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी एंड इट्स बीन अ ईयर और टू एवरीबडी बिकम्स अ जज ऑफ द कंटेंट लिखा तो सही है बट lot many things could have been added this could have been written like this that could have been written like this and you are under depression are itni mehnat ke baad bhi kuch nahi ho raha nahi any person in your family who can understand that medium of communication just show it to them and please request them ki can you go through my essay if they are able to understand na what you have written if they are able to get convinced by your style of writing trust me you will fetch marks Essay has to be simple in expression. कहते हैं ना if you cannot explain something simply, that means you yourself have not understood it. Are you getting my point? So it has to be simple. So what about that convoluted language? My vocabulary is not good. It's okay. जो 21 सालों में नहीं हुआ वो आप कैसे हो जाएगा? And the basic vocabulary you will develop when you are reading your NCERTs, when you are reading your newspaper. That basic vocabulary automatically comes, and that is why if you really want to work on your language, just two pieces of advice: read your NCERTs. That is the language examiner is looking for. Very lucid, very easily comprehensible. So NCERT language is required. IGNU kind of language is required. Read your newspaper. From newspaper you will get enriched content. I'll tell you a small story how um, effective newspaper reading is. Do you really think <coughs> that we sit on a particular day? Now today, let us search the content for essay. Or do you really think toppers have done this? No, it doesn't work like this. Every day you are reading something new. I read an anecdote. I still remember, <coughs> and very specifically, I remember that um, I think it was some 15 years of RTI. So there was a story. एडिटोरियल पेज था एंड उसका ऊपर दूसरे फॉन्ट में लिखी हुई स्टोरी थी दैट देर वॉज अ ट्राइबल वसावा ही वंस हैपन टू अटेंड अ वर्कशॉप ऑन आर टी आई राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन ही वॉज क्वाइट एंथ्यूज बाई इट सो वेन ही वेंट बैक ही डिसाइडेड टू फाइल एन आर टी आई विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द स्टेटस ऑफ वेल कुएं विच वॉज सपोज टू बी डग इन हिज वेसिलिटी इनिशियली ही वॉज रेप्रीमांडेड but when he did not give up when he did not relent at last administration had to dug those wells as planned this anecdote shows the effect of rti how it can ensure accountability how it can ensure responsibility how it can ensure good governance where did i get that story newspaper there was another thing which i read when barack obama <coughs> the last term and his term was going to get over so just one day before his term he addressed the group of media people and he said that media needs to be a skeptic they don't have to be a psychophant media should not be complimentary they should cast a critical eye so that we can meet the expectation of the citizens who have chosen us who said this barack obama suppose there is a question on media can this be your introduction did you get the where did i get that from newspaper have you hum bolte hain ki yojana padh lo matlab you know so yojana mein cover page article aata hai and if you have gone through that article the beginning of the article is always on the basis of some example some quotation some anecdote can't it be picked up from there this is how the content is prepared so there is no separate preparation and trust me every day you will take it as a challenge aaj dhoonte newspaper mein kya mila hai don't take newspaper as a burden yaar aaj ka khatam nahi hua take newspaper as an opportunity that how to extract that one extra content every day from the newspaper which i will use and i will fetch extra marks the moment your attitude changes to this the journey becomes very easy is this very clear so no thoroughization of your paper normal english correct english correct grammar that is what is required and the best thing about grammar is even we don't know we have committed the error to fir kuch bhi likho are you getting the point but spelling errors nahi hone chahiye wo thoda sa put off ho jata hai is this clear next contextual clarity this is very important if your context goes wrong then the entire essay will not fetch you marks and this i have been telling again and again for example 
<coughs> biased media is a threat to Indian democracy. That was the question. We wrote what is media, what is the significance of media, different types of media. Okay, sab likhai. Biased media, how it is a threat to Indian democracy? This is nowhere answered. And I have written 1,200 words. I have written everything about democracy. Democracy पे चार quotes लिख कर आए हैं by the people, for the people, of the people. How it is participative, consultative, ये सब सब लिख कर आए हैं. But दो essays चल रहे थे. एक media पे और एक democracy पे. पर जो पूछा गया था, that is not being answered. That how biased media is a threat to Indian democracy. Is this very clear? So if that contextual relevance is not there, you will not fetch marks. So you have to be very clear. Tabhi main keh rahi hu, topic choose karne se pehle, tell yourself, have you understood the context or not? And if you have not understood the context, please don't waste your time, choose some other topic. It is absolutely normal to write an average essay rather than writing a wrong essay. At least average essay mein 125-130 tak to pahunchoge. Lekin agar galat essay likha hai, to double digit mein aajaoge. So it is any day advisable to write an average essay rather than in order to write a best possible essay, you are writing a wrong essay. Please don't commit that error. Theek hai? Next, filtering the content. This is very important. <coughs> What I mean when I say filter the content, there are two stages of filtering the content. One you will do during your preparation and other you will do during the examination. बोलोगे एग्जामिनेशन में क्या फिल्टर करना है एग्जामिनेशन में ये फिल्टर करना है कि लिखना भी है कि नहीं लिखना है आई टेल यू समथिंग अभी टू मिनट्स बैक आई टोल्ड यू दैट यू ऑलवेज हैव टू प्रिपेयर थिंग्स दैट वेयर आई कैन यूज इट बट समाइम क्या होता है वी हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर आई हैव लर्न अव कोटेशन ऑन एजुकेशन आई टू विल राइट इट If you want to educate an individual, educate a man. If you edu want to educate a generation, educate a woman. I have learned this quotation. The question was that education without values is no education at all. है तो दोनों में एजुकेशन बट हमने तो याद करा है तो अब हम लिखेंगे डू नॉट कमिट दैट एरर इफ दैट कोटेशन इफ दैट एग्जाम्पल इज नॉट रेलिवेंट टू द टॉपिक प्लीज डू नॉट राइट इट दैट्स फर्स्ट पॉइंट सो द फिल्टरिंग ऑफ द कंटेंट has to happen at two stages during preparation and during examination here are two things whether to write or not and if then where first you need to decide that whether that topic or whether that example has to be written or not suppose you have decided it has to be written it is relevant then you have to decide that where it needs to be written i'll tell you ki ma'am ye to obviously pata hi hoga jab soch liya hai likhna hai main batati hu kaise galti ho jati hai let us suppose you are addressing an essay from various dimensions सोशल पोलिटिकल इकोनॉमिक वेरी नॉर्मल ठीक है वन ऑफ दीज डायमेंशन यू हैव फिनिश्ड सोशल डायमेंशन यू हैव ऑलरेडी फिनिश्ड पोलिटिकल डायमेंशन बट वाइल राइटिंग इकोनॉमिक डायमेंशन एक एग्जाम्पल स्ट्राइक कर गया जो कि सोशल में लिखना था अब आपने फ्लो तोड़ दिया क्योंकि आप वापस जंप कर गए सोशल में जस्ट टू राइट दैट एग्जाम्पल एन एग्जामिनर इमीडिएटली अंडरस्टूड that you had forgotten initially to write that example and that is why you have added it here because the flow of your essay is already broken who tells the examiner that you have committed the blunder you yourself who tells the examiner that i have forgotten you yourself do not tell the examiner because they are not looking for that best answer or a model answer they are just looking for an average answer 40% pe to rank aa rahi hai you just need to be an average student do not wish to be the topper topper main is bar sari topper stock isliye maine ekdam literally baith ke suni bechare itne humble hain keh rahe the ki chahte the ho jaye par top kaise kiya pata nahi 
बिकॉज दैट्स ऑनेस्ट कन्फेशन किसी को नहीं पता होता कि यूपीएससी किस चीज पे मार्क्स दे रहे हैं हम बस यहाँ पे आके बोल जाते हैं कि ये हो रहा है इतना पता होता खुद का नहीं हो जाता <laughs> So the point here is this is very basic. Nobody can predict on what things UPSC is giving marks. This is only on the basis of the observation of the topper script that what is working and what is not working. Is that clear? Next, filtering the content during the preparation. I'll give you an example. Have you studied your ethics? <coughs> okay. There might be some. who at least would have heard of this topic socialization that's there in the syllabus of ethics right i'm just giving you an example Topic in ethics is only one. What is socialization, and what are the agencies of socialization? That is ethics. If I have to prepare this topic from the perspective of a <coughs> essay, can you see what I have done? What is the concept of socialization? What is the purpose <coughs> of socialization? What are the mechanisms of socialization? What are the agencies of socialization? Within agencies, I can touch family, peer group. education media religion workplace leadership etc and can i prepare positive and negative examples with respect to all the agencies then i can prepare the impact of socialization individual level societal level national level global level are you getting my point hand that rocks the cradle rules the world hand that rocks the cradle jo palna julata hai jo socialize karta hai depend karta hai nature of socialization pe whether you are going to rule the world positively or you are going to rule the world negatively and now the topic was from the perspective of a mother the role of mother right you could have taken it to the different tangents starting with mother the first is family within family it is father and mother so one of the perspective is hand that rocks the cradle need not necessarily always be of a mother it can that also be of a father similarly we can take that how leadership plays a very significant role in a workplace i'm just giving you examples are you getting the point for example there was an interview which i heard many of you might be knowing it it was the interview of apj abdul kalam dr apj abdul kalam so he said in 1975 a satellite mission was supposed to be launched that time the chairman was satish dhawan of isro and the project director was apj abdul kalam that mission failed and the entire media was sitting outside obviously dr apj abdul kalam was slightly anxious that how would he face the media because the mission has failed Satish Dhawan asked him not to face the media since he is the chairman he is going to face the media so he faced the media and said this time we have failed but i have full confidence in my team very soon we would be a success 1980 again the satellite mission was launched and this time it was a success again the chairman was satish dhawan the project director was dr apj abdul kalam and the media was waiting outside This time, Satish Dhawan told Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, "Go and address the media." Can you see the role of leadership in socialization? An absolute perfect leader is one who, in the time of failure, takes on the responsibility. However, in the time of success, give the credit to the team. If your leader is like that, if your leader is giving you this set of values, would you not be giving the same set of values to your juniors? can you see the power of <coughs> socialization here are you getting what i'm trying to say where did i get this interview tha padha tha aapne bhi kitne aise interviews padhe honge indra nui ka ho gaya sudha murti ka ho gaya 
सुधा मूर्ति ने भी एक बार अपने एक इंसिडेंट शेयर किया था ऑन द एयरपोर्ट वील डिस्कस दैट लेटर बट डिड यू गेट माई पॉइंट वट आई एम सिंग एवरी थिंग इज देर इन द न्यूज पेपर राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ आर आईज बट वी टेन टू ओवर लुक इट क्योंकि अकेडमिक नहीं है हम तो बड़े लोग हैं ना यूपीएससी की तैयारी कर रहे हैं वी ओनली डील विद जी डी पी वॉट इज द इकोनॉमिक कर वॉट इज द ग्रोथ हैपनिंग वॉट इज एंड रशिया यूक्रेन हैज टू बी स्टडीड विद लॉर्ड ऑफ यू नो इंटेलेक्चुअल डिस्कोर्स जैसे हम ही फॉरन मिनिस्टर हैं सो आई यू गेटिंग वॉट आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू टेल यू यर लेट्स इंजॉय दिस प्रोसेस एंड लेट्स जस्ट बी एवरेज राइट ठीक है इज दिस वेरी क्लियर वॉट आई मीन फिल्टरिंग ऑफ द कंटेंट सिमिलरली यू हैव अनदर टॉपिक आई जस्ट गिव यू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल कि अगर इशू बेस्ड आ गया तो you anyway are preparing media for your gs paper media is there in your ethics paper also media <coughs> is there in your security paper also so media anyway you are studying you just have to add few aspects to it for example quote anecdote report data or for that matter historical evolution मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री में सभी ने मीडिया पढ़ा है रोल ऑफ प्रिंट मीडिया राइट टू ब्रिंग अबाउट सोशल चेंज इन द सोसाइटी चेंज इन द वैल्यू सिस्टम यू कैन मेक यूज ऑफ इट देन व्हाट इज मीडिया डिफरेंट मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ मीडिया यू माइट गेट अ क्वेश्चन ऑन सोशल मीडिया हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम कन्वेंशनल मीडिया देन सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ मीडिया इशूज चैलेंजेस एंड वे फॉरवर्ड इसे कहते हैं फिल्टरिंग इन वन ए फोर साइज शीट फर्स्ट यू प्रिपेयर दिस फ्रेमवर्क एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस फ्रेमवर्क कलेक्ट सम इंफॉर्मेशन standard content you all have i'll tell you something you write standard content 110 115 is guaranteed now you have to add 35 more marks to it you just have to work for those 35 marks do not take the target as 150 kitna target hi nahi hai target sirf wo 35 marks hai 110 to 115 to aise hi aa jayenge agar ek bar mains ki taiyari kar liye to aur kuch major blunder nahi kiya hai aise mein to you just have to work now the target is so simple only those 35 marks so every time you are looking for a content just look it from the perspective how it is going to guarantee you 35 marks in your essay paper is that very clear can we proceed <coughs> the next topic is multi dimensional uh, wait uh, this i'll discuss when i'm teaching the body that how to write the body of the essay give me 10 minutes then comes writing skill language competence and time management let's take this together there are few basic queries which most of us have i'll just address each and every query here we need to work on our writing skills first disclaimer no bullet points when i am confident about something that it is not working or it's not going to work i will clearly tell you that so i'm clearly saying no bullet points is that very clear the another doubt <coughs> that we have is how to write the paragraphs how many paragraphs to be written on an average everyone have a different set of writing and everything i am expecting on one page you should at least write two to three paragraphs
small paragraphs are appreciated have you ever read someone's script if you really want to know what is supposed to be done and what is not supposed to be done go read your friend's script you will understand reading long paragraphs is very annoying and most importantly many a times your attention gets snapped after reading the paragraph you realize acha kya tha isme so you should always write small paragraphs one point in one paragraph is that clear on one page two to three paragraphs depending upon the handwriting and everything two paragraphs minimum three maximum teen se zyada yaar wo us upsc ki sheet mein likho to wo bullet point hi ban jayega theek hai so two to three paragraphs have to be written now the question arises how many statements in one para two to three statements <coughs> why am i saying this i know many times we don't have a habit of putting a full stop हम कॉमा डाल के फॉर एवर हाउ एवर वेन एवर करके लिखते ही चले जाते हैं कभी रियलाइज करना मेक अ डेलिबरेट एफर्ट टू पुट अ फुल स्टॉप उसके दो फायदे हैं वन द अटेंशन ऑफ द एग्जामिनर विल नॉट गेट स्नैप्ड बिकॉज यू आर राइटिंग स्मॉल स्टेटमेंट एंड सेकेंड यू विल नॉट मेक ग्रामेटिकल एर द स्मॉलर द स्टेटमेंट द ल्यूसिड इट इज द लेस ग्रामेटिकल एर वुड हैपन इज दिस क्लियर so on one page two to three paragraphs in every paragraph two to three statements this is minimum which is expected now the question arises how am i supposed to enhance the visibility of my content i was talking to this one person <coughs> and we were sharing each other's experience so then i realized while talking to that selected candidate that the sheet should be very visible visible as in the areas where i want to draw the attention of the examiner it should be speaking for itself and what i mean by that is underline important components where you want to draw the examiner's attention please underline that's one way of doing it the second way of doing it is you can also make small boxes the third way of doing it is you can write those terms in inverted commas or you can write in bold letter <coughs> this i have noticed in tina dabi's script a lot aise cursive handwriting chal rahi hai and whenever she wanted to draw the attention of examiner immediately she used to write those words in bold letters so that will draw the attention of the examiner or the choices you can use two color pens blue and black but that becomes challenging because you need to practice with that because it's time taking if you switch your pens so if you have practiced with that speed then that is a good thing to do so whenever you are practicing your essay writing try to do it with the usage of two pens let's see whether it works for us or not is this very clear for everyone now the question arises <coughs> can we make diagrams no i'll tell you why one should not make because it is a debatable issue sometimes people who are reading the essays are not okay with the idea that diagram is there so that is a general perception many a times what we have seen is that the toppers in the mock test have made the diagrams but when i spoke to them personally so in the examination they haven't made the diagram so largely what trend we have noticed the toppers are not making the diagrams but having said that one thing i have noticed sometimes they use map to identify the hot spots or the location for example i think 2014 ki baat hai um, the topper uh, wrote the essay on tourism and a map was made to identify the main tourist spots in india but then you need to understand that if this is your sheet diagram aise nahi banega the diagram should not digressing your attention from the main content so if this is my sheet so diagram is not the focal point diagram is just there to add some value to your content so agar aap likh rahe ho suppose karo (coughs) 
यहां पे आपने एक बॉक्स बनाया साइड में और आपने डायग्राम बना दिया एंड यहां पे नॉर्मल राइटिंग पार्ट इज कंटिन्यूइंग इट शुड नॉट बी डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग इट शुड बी कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग इज दिस वेरी क्लियर बट वेन एवर आई टेक ओपन सेशन क्लासरूम में मैं फिर भी बोल देती हूं कि डायग्राम कर लेंगे मैनेज थोड़ा बहुत ओपन सेशन में मैं नहीं बोलती क्योंकि गलती से अगर मैंने बोल दिया कि डायग्राम बनाना है तो आई एम नॉट सींग वॉट काइंड ऑफ डायग्राम यू आर मेकिंग वेदर इट इज रेलिवेंट और नॉट यू बिल से मैम ने कहा था हम तो बनाया है तीन चार मैप्स हो गए दो चार फ्लो चार्ट हो गए ऐसे की बजाय वो कुछ और ही बन गया सो आई विल नॉट टेक दैट प्रेशर एंड आई विल नॉट टेक दैट रिस्क सो ऑन अ सेफर साइड डू नॉट मेक डायग्राम्स In case you are making, it should be made somewhere in the corner so that it should not distract the attention from the main content of your essay. Is it making sense? ठीक है. Secondly, use formal tone <coughs> while writing the essay. Informal tone should not be there. honorable minister honorable prime minister honorable president in case you are quoting someone so it has to be formal respectful tone should be there i me myself se bahar aayenge in this essay i would do this no in this essay we will explore i me myself should be avoided in essay writing In my opinion, नहीं भाई इतना नहीं सेल्फ ऑब्सेस्ड होना है सो वी विल नॉट डू दैट इट्स अ डिस्कशन इट्स नॉट अ कॉमेंट ऐसे इज नॉट कॉमेंट की वर्ड इज नॉट कॉमेंट सो योर ओपिनियन नहीं है डिस्कशन है ये इज दिस क्लियर फॉर एवरी वन नेक्स्ट थिंग ये नहीं करेंगे दीज एब्रिवेशन हैबिट होती ये सब नहीं नोन एज नहीं यू आर गोइंग टू बी एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर दिस काइंड ऑफ राइटिंग इज नॉट अप्रिशिएटेड दीज एब्रिवेशन नॉट अलाउड क्लियर है सबके लिए सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वेन एवर यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग योर राइटिंग वेदर आंसर राइटिंग और एसे राइटिंग राइट इन अ मैनर यू विल बी राइटिंग इन द एग्जाम आई टेल यू अ रीजन लेट एस सपोज आई टोल्ड यू कि डेवलपमेंट ऐसे नहीं लिखना है आई एम जस्ट गिविंग अ स्मॉल एग्जांपल बट वेन एवर यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग आंसर राइटिंग एवरी टाइम यू रोट इट एज डेवलपमेंट गवर्नमेंट बट यू डिसाइडेड इन द एग्जामिनेशन आई विल नॉट राइट लाइक दिस ट्रस्ट मी आपको याद ही नहीं आएगा कि डेवलपमेंट में ई लगता है या नहीं लगता है गवर्नमेंट की स्पेलिंग क्या है मैं मजाक नहीं कर रही मैं सच बोल रही हूं पूरी जिंदगी आई टेल यू वन पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस आई यूज टू राइट डेफिनेट लाइक दिस अब मुझे याद ही नहीं आ रहा था डेफिनेट लिखते वक्त कि आई लिखना है या ई लिखना है आई एम टेलिंग यू अ पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस एंड इट रियली बिकॉज ऑल योर लाइफ यू हैव सोशलाइज योर माइंड एज इट इज डी ई वी टी जी ओ वी टी तो अब आगे याद ही नहीं आता है Are you getting the point? So whenever you are practicing, practice it in a manner as you are going to write it in the examination. I'll share another piece of incident. I, when I was preparing, I was <coughs> attending this optional ka test series. So us time pe do optionals hote the. My <coughs> another optional other than sociology was PubAd. So every time 300 marks ka each paper hota tha 600 marks. So every time I used to uh, miss out on a 20 marker. कुछ हो जाता था कि मतलब नहीं लिख पाए टाइम खत्म हो गया आराम आराम से लिख रहे हैं ये वो सो आई यूज टू ऑलवेज थिंक अरे यहां पे 20 मार्क मिस हो रहा है ना एग्जाम में तो ऑब्वियसली आई टेक केयर ऑफ माय स्पीड एंड एवरीथिंग को इंसिडेंटली और अनफॉर्चुनेटली एग्जैक्टली आई मिस आउट ऑन वन आंसर ऑफ ट्वेंटी मार्कर इन द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल बिकॉज दैट इज हाउ माई माइंड वॉज सोशलाइज and same i'll give you another toppers example this year's toppers he shared his incident that wo mains ke pehle abhyas hota hai na vision mein where mains paper so he scored 450 in abhyas coincidentally his final score in upsc was also 450 in gs paper 
Are you getting the point? And these coincidences, one we know because the person has shared. Maybe such examples are there with other people also, both positively and negatively. So whenever you are practicing essay, once you have developed the knack of essay writing, write two essays at a time, because we have to learn the art of time management as well. So the next thing that we have to take care is time management. <coughs> You have to write two essays. We have 90 minutes for every essay. This is what I generally tell students. Five minutes for topic selection, 20 minutes for brainstorming, 60 minutes for writing the essay, and another five minutes for revising. Is that clear? How can I manage your time? How can I decide what can be your time management? Can you, what if you are not able to choose the topic in five minutes? Whatever all the four topics were new to you, is bar ki tarah? Do you realize first 10 minutes the insan was in shock? Ki all eight philosophical? I was thinking eight topic to thik se likka raunga mein. All eight philosophical? Ye UPSC kaise kar sakti? 10 minute to kosa hai abhi UPSC ko. To 10 to usi mein chale gai. Agle paanch is mein chale gai ki agar ye paper thik se nahi hua, to agle saal ki tayari kaise karni hai. So there are so many emergency situation you can face. How can I tell you how to manage the time? This is what you will learn through practice. So whenever you have developed the knack of essay writing, write two essays at a time and that is the job of mock test. Hum itne halke mein lete hain ye mock test ke concept ko, aray kya zaroot hai test series karne ki, kya feedback de deenge ye lo, aapko sach mein lagta hai ki the test series is meant for the feedback that you get? The marks that you get, people literally fighting for marks, mere dost ko itna mila mujhe itna kyun diya? No, that is not the job. The job is to give you that experience of writing the test in the exam-like situation. And you are writing five tests. And I will tell you, what do we do with the biggest mistake when we write five tests? Instead of preparing those 40 topics, we end up preparing only 10 topics. Can you see the difference? You are writing essay on two topics, but the remaining six topics have to be prepared. What if the question comes from those remaining six topics? That's one thing that you have to learn. Second thing is through mock test, you identify your strength and weaknesses. And what we do, every essay we are writing in the same manner. At least first three mocks you should explore that which manner of writing is fetching you more marks. Which style of writing you are more comfortable with. There are many of the students who say, Ma'am, I cannot remember quotation. Kya kare? Jab remember kari nahi sakte, to kya kare? Mat likho. Are you getting the point? <coughs> Somebody tells me, Ma'am, I don't know, I find writing anecdotes very difficult. But when you are finding it difficult, then to nothing can be done. Forget about it. So you have to learn that which style of writing is going to fetch you more marks. Is this very clear? All of this has to be practiced through these mock tests and time management has to be decided by you. Is this clear? <coughs> We've How am I supposed to connect it now? Guys, just one minute. Uh, can we just call someone? <laughs> Please take me to so okay, uh, before we start, so I was talking about the next important thing, connect kar dije PPT. So the next important thing I, that I wanted to share with you is that what should be the qualities of good essay? Ik, um, we really don't know what works and what doesn't work. But yes, one observation can be made that what is working. So one thing which has worked for most of us is the originality in the essay. 
The problem is we look for a book on essay writing which consists of model essays. It doesn't work like that. The more your essay is original, the more are the chances for you to fetch marks. And I'll tell you what I mean by originality. Originality does not mean that you have to invent something. A small little discoveries are also known as originality. For example, this year's essay topic. Everybody might have written it from their own perspective. So your own understanding, your own perspective on a particular topic is nothing but originality. For example, <coughs> I'll tell you the most uh, uh, cliche example. 2016 or 17 ki baat hai. Uh, the topic tha na, that um, fulfillment of new women in India is a myth. I'll tell you the cliche aspect. The highest were 176. It was scored by a girl who has written the essay on topic of women. Ye sabse cliche combination ho sakta hai, but still managed to score the highest and the introduction of the essay I still remember she mentioned that there was this one girl called Priya I, I might have uh, <coughs> spelled it wrong but Priya the Jobi so she was very well educated convent educated working everything but the challenge was that whatever money that she was earning she was not allowed to spend so to what extent the new women concept has been fulfilled in India did you get the point her understanding of the topic. Your understanding could have been very different. A very simple introduction, yet the person has scored 176. So you don't have to write something out of the box to score highest marks. You just have to write something which is original, which is your perspective. And trust me, if it is your perspective, you will be emotionally invested in that perspective. Is this clear? The second thing is analytical. <laughs> this I wanted to elaborate. We have a problem. We have a problem that we have or we all are suffering from something called infoxication. Infobicity. Too much information. This is our problem. Now the offline classes are starting. And uh, there are advantages. And the biggest disadvantage of offline classes is that we have chai at chai ka tapri. And when we are sipping the tea, so usually what we hear even if you are conversing with your friend, you booklet padhi? Se kiya? I have heard unke notes bahut achche hai. Are you have not referred those notes. Every topper is saying that it has to be referred. Then some XYZ person will come. Achha, you are referring to this? No, no, there is a senior of mine who has cleared this exam. That person was saying these notes are good for nothing. It is these notes which are working. And we are busy purchasing the notes. At the end of it, you have no space to live in your room. It is only notes. Now, bura lagta hai ki nahi kitabe kholi tak nahi hai aur kabaad mein deni pad rahi hai. Are you getting what I'm trying to say here? That is what our problem is. And same happens when we attempt our essay. We forget that essay has to be analytical. We are focusing more on the information. We are focusing more on data, more on statistics. What you are not realizing, what is the purpose of writing the essay? Is essay a government report? Is essay a statistical <coughs> information? No. Is it a collection of information? No. Is it an article? No. It is analysis. And in your essay, there are two things which are very important. That doesn't mean that data is not important. I'm not saying that. But there is a purpose behind data. And the purpose behind data is <coughs> that in your essay, the first and the most important thing is we need to have the argument. And the second thing is we need to have the What I mean by this, you need to have the argument and you need to have the substantiation. Today, it, together it gives the analytical nature to your essay. Now, let me give you an example. <coughs> the substantiation can be brought about through some thinker's perspective. It can be brought about through case study. It can be brought about through examples. It can be brought about through report, data, etc. 
देर आर डिफरेंट वेज सबस्टैंसिएशन मतलब क्रेडिबिलिटी देना अपने आर्ग्यूमेंट को टेल मी समथिंग इज योर थिंकर परस्पेक्टिव केस स्टडी एग्जाम्पल रिपोर्ट डेटा हैज any relevance without the argument kya karenge jaan ke data ke bare mein kya karenge examples ke bare mein jaan ke if you have not given the argument so there is a purpose of all these things and all these things serves only one purpose that is giving credibility to your argument so what is the most important thing in the essay argument but without substantiation आर्ग्यूमेंट होल्ड्स नो क्रेडिबिलिटी हम कोई अमरत्य सेन थोड़ी ना है जॉन्ड्रीज थोड़ी ना है कि हमने कुछ कह दिया और हमें मान लेंगे और नोबेल प्राइज दे देंगे ऐसे नहीं होता हमें प्रूफ देना पड़ता है आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू गिव यू प्रूफ फॉर एवरी थिंग वॉट आई एम सींग इवन आफ्टर सो मेनी ईयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस भाई प्रूफ चलता है यहां पर सो दिस इज हाउ इट नीड्स टू वर्क that there has to be both argument and substantiation together it gives the analytical bent to your essay writing clear hai <coughs> next come down to coherence okay i know this is a big challenge for many of us ki how to maintain coherence in the essay there are two techniques simple one subheading that is one way of maintaining the coherence you are exactly telling the examiner what you are going to write next through subheadings is that clear but one disclaimer introduction body conclusion way forward criticism ye subheading nahi hoti hai aur ye na likhna it will look very juvenile if you are writing way forward criticism these are not subheading social political cultural these are not subheadings subheadings matlab for example <coughs> i have to show an evolutionary perspective of something something which has existed over the period of time can i say my subheading can be <coughs> journey so far similarly i have to identify the current status and i have to tell the reader that the current status of a particular thing is very bad dismal state of affair similarly you have to tell the examiner ki not everything is bad there is a hope that this dismal state of affair can be improved silver lining in dark cloud similarly let us say you have discussed the prospects you have discussed that this is so good and everything but then you have to highlight the challenges can i write all that glitter is not gold सपोज अब तो फिलोसफिकल एसेज हैं तो सपोज यू हैव टू गिव एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लीडर्स यू हैव टू गिव एग्जाम्पल्स हु हैव मेड सिग्निफिकेंट डिफरेंस इन द सोसाइटी कैन आई गिव दी हेडिंग मैं डास्ट टच ऑल दैट यू टच इट बिकम्स गोल्ड सो दैट्स द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द कंसिडरेबल पर्सनैलिटी इन द सोसाइटी आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू एग्जाम्पल्स यू कैन मेक योर ओन सब हेडिंग्स बट आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ द सब हेडिंग्स हैव टू बी रिटर्न ट्रस्ट मी इट विल मेक अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस सपोज करो कोई इश्यू है विच हैज बोथ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव कैन आई से बस एज सिंपल इज दैट make use of subheadings or this is not the only set of subheadings whenever you will come across a new topic automatically you will develop the art of writing subheadings and sometimes you get the subheadings from newspaper 
न्यूज पेपर में एडिटोरियल में अच्छी खासी सब हेडिंग्स मिलती हैं मैं तो आपको इतना अच्छा तरीका बता दू चुराओ दिमाग नहीं लगाओ <laughs> से उठाते जाओ और एक बुक बना लो जहां पे ये सब कुछ ऐड कर दोगे और ऐसा थोड़ी ना है कि इस पे कोई स्टैंप लगा है इसको मैं बस ऐसे में ही यूज करूंगा क्यों सब हेडिंग्स का जीएस में लिखोगे तो क्या टैक्स देना पड़ेगा उस पर कहीं भी यूज करो पता है आई नो मेनी ऑफ यू माइट नॉट अग्री विद दिस बट आई हैव अ वेरी सिंपल फिलोसफी इवन वेन आई टीच इन द क्लास आई डोंट बिलीव इन टू मच कंटेंट आई बिलीव मोर इन द टेम्पलेट which can be used in different places aur uska reason hai that template is one thing which you tend to remember in the examination when you are writing your gs paper you are writing both the papers in one day gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 do you really think you get the time to revise last mein wo jo a4 size sheet hoti hai ya wo jo ek copy hoti hai jisme sari ye important cheeze likhi hain ki wo 3 c's 3 r's फोर एज जो हम बनाते नहीं है ये याद रहता है और यही काम आता है उसके अंदर तो सबके पॉइंट एक जैसे होते हैं सो दिस हैज टू बी योर एज ओवर अदर्स क्लियर है कैन वी प्रोसीड ठीक सो दिस इज वन वे ऑफ कोहरेंस द अनदर वे ऑफ कोहरेंस इज राइटिंग द लिंकिंग स्टेटमेंट read this write something about what you have already written write something about what you are going to write and that becomes the linking statement simple words having discussed the prospects of cashless economy let's explore the issues and challenges did you understand what i mean so you just have to write one statement and within that you write something what you have already discussed so having discussed the prospects now let us explore the issues and challenges have i told the examiner what i am going to do next has the link been established the coherence has been established these are the two simple ways i am telling you essay writing can be very mechanical once you learn it content obviously it has to be subjective structure can be mechanically understood aur ha isme variations aaram se ho sakte hain but these are few techniques of writing essays <coughs> is this clear for everyone can i proceed next thing is specific yet explanatory this i will tell you or let me just discuss it right now only ek example deke batati hu let us consider this is my introduction i know i've made three paragraphs here right because actually you write your introduction in three parts maine kaha tha na i will mechanically divide so your introduction consists of three parts and this i will use to answer my next point that is specific yet explanatory let us take a choice that the first part i have answer using a anecdote or a quote that constitutes my first part do you really think writing the anecdote your introduction is over no you have to tell the examiner why have you written the anecdote so the second part is linking the anecdote with the topic and third part telling the examiner your approach <coughs> i'll show you topper script and we'll get an idea how this has to be implemented but did you see first two parts here 
सो एनिकोट वी हैव टू राइट इन अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक मैनर वेरी क्रिस्प एनिकोट कोई स्टोरी राइटिंग नहीं करनी है तीन साढ़े तीन घंटे की मूवी आजकल कमी चलती है ठीक है तो यू हैव टू राइट अ वेरी क्रिस्प एनिकोट बट एट द सेम टाइम इट हैज टू बी एक्सप्लेनेटरी यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन इट ऑन द फेस ऑफ द एग्जामिनर वॉट इज द रेलिवेंस ऑफ द एनिकोट टू द टॉपिक विच इज गिवेन टू अस the moment you write the first two parts of your introduction then it becomes specific plus explanatory is that very clear so if you do not explain the relevance of your anecdote your data your quotation your premise with the topic which is being asked then it will not serve the desired purpose even if you are writing a quotation you have to link the quotation to the topic is it clear for everyone <coughs> lastly well organized essay trust me you will never ever go wrong just read these three things which i have written introduction body conclusion introduction tell them what you are going to tell them bata do introduction mein bhai sahab ye hai जो हम आपको दिखाएंगे ऐसे में कैसे दिखाएंगे लेट्स एक्सप्लोर इट बट टेल देम डू नॉट कीप इट एज अ सीक्रेट अरे लास्ट में पता चलेगा एग्जामिनर को नहीं इतना पेशेंस नहीं है उनमें कि वो पंद्रह पेजेस पढ़ने का वेट करे ये देखने के लिए कि क्या होने वाला है कोई नेटफ्लिक्स की सीरीज थोड़ी ना है कि दसवें एपिसोड तक वेट करेंगे आई यू गेटिंग वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से सो टेल देम इन द इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट दे कैन एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम यू इन योर एसे दैट इज हाउ इट वर्क i'll tell you a simple interpretation a simple analogy i've said this before also for me the introduction is nothing but the trailer of the movie now try to understand what is introduction what does a trailer of the movie do for you does it give the insight in the genre of the movie what kind of movie whether it is a romantic comedy whether it is a suspense whether it is a thriller you get an idea right it is very captivating interesting if your trailer is not good the chances of footfall on the first weekend is very less so the trailer has to be really good to ensure that the people are coming to watch your movie but if you reveal too much in the trailer will they come and watch ye hai introduction ek idea de do over upar upar se ki what you are going to do but exactly don't tell कि वॉट एग्जैक्टली यू आर गोइंग टू राइट फिर तो वो क्यों ही पढ़ेंगे सब तो हो ही गया इज इट मेकिंग सेंस फॉर एवरी वन मेक इट एज कैप्टिवेटिंग एज पॉसिबल एंड वील जस्ट सी हाउ टू मेक इट कैप्टिवेटिंग इज इट मेकिंग सेंस इन द बॉडी यू आर गोइंग टू टेल देम वॉट एवर यू हैव प्रोमिस्ड इन द इंट्रोडक्शन तो प्रोमिस से मुकरना नहीं जितने वादे इंट्रोडक्शन में किए हैं वो सारे पूरे होने चाहिए वाइल राइटिंग द बॉडी i'll tell you something there is one way of writing the introduction in which we pose questions ya we tell the examiner ki these are the questions which we are going to address in the body ab josh josh mein humne introduction mein bana diye sat aat questions now while writing the body we realize we don't have time left to fir hame lagta hai char panch answer karte hain kaun sa examiner ko yaad rehne wala hai ye bluff nahi karna hai if you have posed seven eight questions in the introduction all those seven eight questions have to be answered in your body otherwise it will backfire that is why a proper balance in all the three parts is very important people believe if you write a good introduction then the battle is won fine well begin is half done i totally agree to you but do you realize that if your introduction is really good how much expectation you are increasing in the mind of the examiner and if your body is not good the level of disappointment which will be there i still remember there was this one candidate who went into the interview board and a very good academic profile extremely brilliant academic profile and the person was literally given 100 marks in the interview not because the person has performed badly the person did not meet the expectation of the board because the daf was so academically strong that the board has too much expectation if the daf would have been average to interview itna bura bhi nahi tha 
are you getting the point so when you go somewhere with lot of expectation that expectation needs to be met so just by ensuring a good in, iska matlab ye nahi hai bekar introduction likh kar aaoge ki koi expectation hi nahi hogi kuch to number milenge ye mat karna all i'm just trying to say is that only writing good introduction is not enough you have to write a good content now the most important aspect which i'll discuss in detail based on what you have told them conclusion has to be futuristic conclusion has to be optimistic it has to have a vision now aap bologe ma'am ye futuristic optimistic ye to sab bolte nahi point jo main yahan pe identify kar rahi hu aur wo main abhi next 10 minutes mein discuss bhi karungi conclusion does not mean a summary many of you land up writing a summary do you realize you have already given the summary in the introduction by telling the examiner what all can be expected do not summarize it seems as if you are short of content and that is why you are repeating your content the content should not be repeated that is why choose a topic in which you can write 1000 to 1200 words otherwise don't choose the topic so one disclaimer and which i'm saying very openly and blatantly you don't have to summarize in your conclusion many a times many toppers do end up saying ki nahi nahi you can write the summary but trust me kya hota hai main batati hu aap actually bolte ho lekin aap summarize karte nahi ho aap sari toppers ki script utha ke dekh lo response vision ke to portal pe hai you pick up <coughs> last 3 4 years and you just have a a small comparative analysis you will get none of them is actually summarizing hota kya hai that summary is there in your subconscious mind that this is all what i have written in the essay and based on that you have to provide a futuristic vision so that is there in your subconscious mind kyunki summarize to karna padega na then only you can provide a futuristic vision but in actual reality that summary should not be written on the paper because it gives an impression you are repeating all that you have written so far is this very clear theek hai ab hum detail mein lete hain each and every thing all the three parts just one disclaimer introduction body conclusion remains the same for philosophical essays as well there is no difference it's the same thing same mechanics hai abhi likhna bas bata dungi <coughs> read the introduction first and foremost it should be relevant to the theme of the topic it should be relevant second is it should be suggestive of your theme ho sakta hai na hum topic ko thoda different tarike se approach kar rahe hain so whatever is your understanding of the topic that also has to be reflected in the paper so did you notice i give you introduction ke teen parts first part is making it captivating anecdote and all that second part is i am linking that anecdote with the theme so i am establishing the relevance but in the third paragraph i am telling the examiner what i am going to write in the essay so i am suggesting my understanding of the topic are both the th or all the three parts reflected in those three parts of the introduction this is the first part captivating and interesting second part is establishing the relevance to the theme what is the third part it is suggesting your understanding of the topic are all the three parts there is this clear <coughs> how can i make my introduction interesting there are different ways of doing it if somebody says i can't write the quote good enough i can't even think of an anecdote no problem there are so many ways of writing a good introduction and all these ways works perfectly well even for the philosophical essays sare tarike work karte the first and foremost is quotation i'll just answer few queries which people have Ma'am, what if we don't remember the name of the person who has given the quote? Same answer. If you don't remember, then what can be done? Okay. Ideally, you should remember. Okay. In case you don't remember, do not bluff. Just leave it. As in, write the quote, but do not write who has given the quote. But do not bluff. Because sometimes they cross check. कर लेते हैं. Or maybe the examiner exactly know who has given the quote. Then it can backfire. So do not underestimate the knowledge of the examiner. so there are different ways of writing the quotation i'll just explain very briefly first point if you know the quote ad verbatim write in double inverted commas and write the name of the person who has given the quote 
लेट एस से यू डोंट रिमेंबर द कोट एड वर बैटम बहुत बार होता है ना एग्जैक्ट वर्ड नहीं याद होते राइट इट इन सिंगल इनवर्टेड कॉमास बिकॉज देन इट इज ओपन टू इंटरप्रिटेशन चॉइस इज इफ यू नो हु हैज गिवन सो राइट द नेम इफ यू डोंट नो हु हैज गिवन लीव इट सम पीपल आस्क हाउ मेनी कोट्स टू राइट इन द एस ए यू कैन राइट थ्री टू फोर कोटेशन you can start with a quote you can end with a quote in between also you can write two three quotes but should not be more than this otherwise it would seem like a brainy quote ka article right so isse zyada quotations nahi honi chahiye but three four quotations you can easily write someone will ask can we write quotes in hindi <coughs> or dohe vagra ya to when you are writing the script should not be devnagari फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर राइटिंग ऐसी बानी बोलिए मन का आपा खोए तो हम मैसेजिंग करते हैं ना हिंदी में नहीं लिखेंगे इस तरह से लिख सकते हैं ऐसी बानी बोलिए मन का आपा खोए और उनको शीतल करे आपा शीतल हुए सो यू कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस बट वन डिस्कलेमर एक्सप्लेन द मीनिंग in one statement many a times the examiner might not know the exact doha might not know <coughs> the exact statement bahut bar hota hai aapne kisi aur language ka literature padha hua hai and from there you have written something you have quoted something which is absolutely fine but make sure you explain that in one or two statements so as to avoid any kind of confusion clear hai theek next thing is anecdote see that's my favorite personal favorite starting the essay with anecdote and what i have uh, noticed it is the easiest way of writing i know many of you would say isi mein sabse zyada halat kharab hoti hai but trust me anecdote writing is the simplest way there are two ways of writing the anecdote either you are writing the fictional anecdote or you are writing a real time fictional to dekho sabse aasan hai ek character introduce kar do ram sham sita geeta priya neetu कोई भी कैरेक्टर्स इंट्रोड्यूस कर दो एंड वॉट एवर अजम्शन प्रिजम्शन यू वॉन्ट टू कोट यू कैन बिल्ड द स्टोरी देर एंड देन फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू वॉन्टेड टू शो एजुकेशन सिस्टम इन इंडिया इज अ सोर्स ऑफ लेवलर और इन इक्वालिटी आई हैव टेकन टू गर्ल्स हियर प्रीति एंड रीमा बोथ वर फोर्टीन ईयर ओल्ड बट द चैलेंज वॉज वन बिलोंग टू अ वेल ऑफ फैमिली वेर एज अदर डेंट so the one who belong to a well of family can continue with her education but the challenge with other girl is how would she continue the education because right to education ambit is only till primary education sabhi ko pata hai ye kahani isme maine kya bata diya waise hi hum health ka utha le koi bhi story bana do agriculture utha le kartar singh ko le lo punjab ka farmer hai he is waiting for a train which train cancer express so can i identify <coughs> the pitfalls of green revolution story ban gayi one character or two characters and you build a small story here you have to practice ki kis tarah 50 words mein 60 words mein the story comes to an end so the challenge is not story writing the challenge is writing crisp stories so this can be easily done with practice absolutely it can be done second easiest way which is even easier is real time anecdotes you are preparing for ethics ethics may you have to prepare examples of administrative officials leaders who have set positive examples sab ye karte socialization i told you you have to prepare examples you have to prepare examples of mothers who have had a considerable impact on their children can we put those examples right you just have to uh, <coughs> mahatma gandhi's mother are you getting the point so you just have to pick up real time examples and which can be used and written in the introduction so there are two ways of writing the <coughs> anecdote one is real time other is fictional and both can be done easily the more you read the examples kitne sare logo ki story hum kabhi kabhi google nahi kar lete khali baithe hote hain ki yahi dekh lete hain jeff bezos ki kya history thi jack ma ki kya history thi hum kar lete hain na ye ye to shock hai na मतलब पढ़ना इतना तो इंटरेस्ट है ना कि लोग क्या कर रहे हैं लाइफ में ठीक है तो ये छोटे छोटे इंसिडेंसेस नायका का आईपीओ इतना हाई कैसे था हु इज दिस मिस फाल्गुनी सो 
एक इंटरेस्ट जागता है राइट हाउ अभी आजकल वो एक यूनिकॉर्न बना है ना द एजुकेशन सेक्टर फिजिक्स वाला है ना कि मतलब ही हैड रिफ्यूज दी ऑफर विच वॉज बीन गिवन बाय वन इंस्टीट्यूट एंड नाउ ही हैज बिल्ड अप हिज ओन एंटरप्राइज राइट सो दैट एग्जाम्पल कैन बी कोटेड सक्सेसफुल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ स्टार्टअप तो ये सब तो आप रोजमर्रे में पढ़ते हैं वहीं से स्टोरी उठानी और ये एनिकडोट बन गया अरे वो अब ठीक है हर चीज नहीं बोलनी है तुम तो वहां हो मैं इधर हूं सो डिड यू गेट द पॉइंट वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से सो पॉजिटिव एग्जाम्पल्स कैन बी रिटर्न इज दिस वेरी क्लियर ठीक सो इज एनिकडोट क्लियर फॉर एवरी वन देन डी कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ टॉपिक दैट्स द इजिएस्ट वे ऑफ डूइंग इट और मैं बताती हूं ये फिलोसफिकल में बहुत काम आता है डी कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ टॉपिक बिकॉज फिलोसफिकल में यू नीड टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द टॉपिक परसेप्शन ऑफ मी इज रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ यू फर्स्ट यू शुड एट लीस्ट नो वॉट इज परसेप्शन वॉट ऑल फैक्टर शेप द परसेप्शन ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल इज द परसेप्शन ओनली डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द अदर पर्सन और इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स अपॉन योर ओन ट्रेट्स or it also depends upon your value system or it also depends upon your experiences you need to explore the topic similarly there was a topic <coughs> character of an institution is determined by its leadership this is the topic right upsc topic deconstruction what do you mean by character what do you mean by institutions what do you mean by leadership deconstruction of topic is very handy when it comes down to philosophical topics again there was last year there was a topic <coughs> life is a long journey from human being to being humane what do you mean by life what do you mean by human being what are the characteristic feature of being humane why it is considered as a long journey what is it deconstruction of the topic so in philosophical topics deconstruction is very advisable but do you realize these are not watertight compartmentalized कि अगर एनिकडोट लिखा है तो कोट नहीं लिख सकते या डीकंस्ट्रक्ट किया है तो एनिकडोट नहीं लिख सकते इट डजेंट वर्क लाइक दिस यू हैव टू डू एवरीथिंग इन योर केपेबिलिटी सो एज टू इंप्रूव द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ योर एस इज दिस क्लियर नेक्स्ट द प्रिमाइज बेस्ड ऑन विच द टॉपिक इज बींग आस्ट समाइम्स क्या होता है स्पेशली द इश्यू बेस्ड टॉपिक्स देर इज समथिंग विच इज हैपनिंग इन करंट बेस्ड ऑन विच यू हैव गॉट दी एस सो कैन वी स्टार्ट दी एस बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिमाइज Investing in human capital is the need of the hour. That's the topic. Can I say in the backdrop of rise in working age population, so as to reap the benefits of demographic dividend, investing in human capital has indeed become the need of the hour. Did you get my point? What I mean when I say premise based on which the topic has been asked. Clear? Hey. For example, biased media is a threat. So. can i say press freedom index ki report based on that biased media might be a question or i can use a, a statement here they say <coughs> the importance of media can be established for example kheecho na kamano ko na talwar nikalo jab top muqabil ho to akhbar nikalo simple version pen is mightier than sword we can start like this right so whenever there is a challenge you have to address the social crisis economic crisis the biggest tool to fight any amount of challenge is media so can we start like this so all i'm just trying to say is that sometimes if you don't remember the quote the anecdote you can start with the premise premise as in background based on which a particular topic has been asked similarly reports news statistics that i have already mentioned suppose karo <coughs> women pe koi topic aa jaye global gender gap report poverty pe koi topic aa jaye global hunger index multi dimensional poverty of india hum baat kar sakte hain ye sari so these are nothing but report news or statistics posing question okay you can totally disagree this is no hard and fast rule but this becomes very important the moment you pose the question i'll show you how to pose the question there are two ways either you pose the question or you give a statement for example 
it is not the hard or the soft power but the smart power which is the need of the hour in global politics ye hai theek hai the topic we have discussed the anecdote everything now i have to tell the examiner in the third part of the introduction what i am going to write in the essay can i say in the following essay we will address the following issues for example what do you mean by hard power what do you mean by soft power how it is different from smart power how smart power or why smart power is the need of the r how to develop smart power so in this essay we are going to address five questions did you get the structure of your essay these are nothing but posing the questions is it making sense for everyone <coughs> paradox paradox basically means ye <coughs> depend karta hai situation pe just a second paradox means two different situations you have created for example ek topic aa jaye defense expenditure necessity or extravagance can i start with a paradox that on one hand we are signing multi billion dollar deals whereas on the other hand we are suffering from shortage of health infrastructure due to lack of government expenditure on social infrastructure did you see the paradox here that does not mean that you are saying that defense expenditure should not be made no that's not what you are doing that is why i say writing these paradox only serve one part of the intro the other two parts have to be still written so this is what i mean when i say paradox is this clear lastly conversation ek topic tha ek topper ne shayad mock test mein bhi likha tha army of principles can reach where army of soldiers cannot so this was the topic and the person has started with a conversation that how parth asked the question from keshav matlab arjun ne shri krishna se pucha that how am i going to fight the other side who has such a huge army and consist of my respected elders to which lord krishna replied that you have to fight with your principles only then dharm can be established can you see the conversation here so conversation between krishna and arjun somebody was asking can mythological examples be used i got a mail yes it can be absolutely make references itna ethics mein hum padhte hain and what better source of ethics and development of values than bhagavad gita write about bhagavad gita you can quote the incidences and excerpts from your ramayan from mahabharat absolutely feel free to write in fact that would give you edge is that very clear so don't worry you can absolutely write these examples in fact it would be appreciated kyunki philosophical essay is all about the right kind of value system and one of the source of value development is bhagavad gita likho is this clear <coughs> different ways of making the essay multi dimensional i told you the essay has to be multi dimensional very quickly let's have a look at it <coughs> one simple way which everybody writes simple social political economic cultural technological ethical so all gs4 papers that's the easiest way of writing so one of the way of making your essay multi dimensional is this <coughs> the second is temporal temporal ancient medieval modern post independence post lpg and contemporary the best thing about history is jahan se aati hai wahan se shuru kar do suppose karo ancient medieval alag alag nahi yaad aa rahe hain examples itne specific ki do parts mein divide kar sake so can we say 
प्री ब्रिटिश एंशियंट मीडियवल दोनों लिख देंगे सपोज करो याद ही नहीं आ रहा है एंशियंट uh, मीडियवल का कोई भी एग्जाम्पल बट मॉडर्न इंडिया अच्छे से पढ़ी थी मॉडर्न इंडियन हिस्ट्री तो उसके एग्जाम्पल्स आते हैं प्री इंडिपेंडेंस पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस पोस्ट एलपीजी कॉन्टेम्प्रेरी ऐसे कर दे सपोज करो पिछला याद ही नहीं आ रहा मॉडर्न इंडियन हिस्ट्री के भी एग्जाम्पल याद नहीं आ रहे पास्ट में तो कल से पहले जो हुआ सब पास्ट प्रेजेंट जो आजकल देखने को मिल रहा है फ्यूचर जो हम एक्सपेक्ट तो पास्ट प्रेजेंट और फ्यूचर और पास्ट में कोई भी एग्जांपल दे दो फिर एंशियंट दे दो मॉडर्न दे दो जो भी एक आध एग्जांपल्स आपको याद आ रहे हैं और इतनी हिस्ट्री आपने पढ़ी है एंड यू विल बी एबल टू राइट इट एंड बिफोर आई फर्दर मुझे याद आ गया हम लोग बहुत बार बोलते हैं कि पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस इंडिया वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री वॉट पर्पज इट इज सर्विंग बिकॉज क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछे जा रहे हैं इट विल हेल्प यू इन योर एस राइटिंग आपने वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री में बहुत सारे एग्जाम्पल्स पढ़े हैं बहुत सारी लीडरशिप भी पड़ी है बहुत पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव दैट कैन बी यूज इन कोटिंग एग्जाम्पल्स इन योर एस ए पेपर एंड इफ यू रियली थिंक इट कैन ओनली बी रिटर्न इन द कोटेशन बेस्ड एस एज सॉरी इशू बेस्ड एस एज एब्सोलूटली नॉट फिलोसफिकल एस एज ऑल अबाउट एग्जाम्पल्स आई टोल्ड यू ना आर्ग्यूमेंट्स प्लस सब्सटैंसिएशन तो फिलोसफिकल एस एज में तो जितने एग्जाम्पल्स दोगे उतना अच्छा है सोशल पोलिटिकल इकोनॉमिक इंटरनेशनal, हिस्टोरिकल इंडिविजुअल पिक अप ऑल द एग्जाम्पल्स फ्रॉम एवरी वॉक ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज वाई आई टोल्ड यू फिलोसफिकल के लिए कोई बहुत सेपरेट वे ऑफ राइटिंग नहीं चाहिए इट्स जस्ट दैट यू नीड मोर एग्जाम्पल्स इज दिस वेरी क्लियर जो प्रॉब्लम आती है फिलोसफिकल में वो बस एक है द फर्स्ट स्टेज दैट इज इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक टॉपिक नहीं समझ आता है दैट्स द ओनली पॉइंट एक बार टॉपिक समझ आ जाए ना एंड फ्रॉम वॉट ऑल डायमेंशन टॉपिक कैन बी एक्सप्लोर देन यू हैव इनफ कंटेंट टू राइट second thing which i have not shared till now and which we will not do also now that is the expected themes kyunki pehle to main bata deti thi poverty capitalism health inclusive growth globalization tourism culture with philosophical you can never predict and you will get two set of questions ethics mein there is always quotation based ek question aata hai jiske three parts hote hain so three to four question are quotation based question in your ethics paper can you predict which quote would be asked in ethics even the syllabus says moral thinkers nowhere it has been written which quote or which thing can be expect kabhi swami vivekanand kabhi gandhi kabhi plato kabhi aristotle kitna padh ke jaoge right similarly philosophical essays what would be the topic you cannot predict what you can practice is how to write you can never predict so prepare as many examples as possible automatically you will nail this paper in fact philosophical um, aap bologe ye badi baat ho gayi but trust me philosophical is better to write as compared to the issue based i'll tell you why jab information based essays hote na you have to be very uh, thorough and very accurate with respect to the issues or the information that you are writing so many a times you don't tend to remember in philosophical based jo essays hote hain you can explore various dimensions and just by writing the examples without that accuracy you can actually nail the paper is that very clear so philosophical essays don't see it as a challenge it's an opportunity to write good essays <coughs> are these parts clear next this is <coughs> my favorite because it is very much applicable everywhere prospects issues and challenges but then it depends upon the issue based topic If you are getting philosophical essays, philosophical essays may apply नहीं होता ये apply हो जाता है philosophical basis में Institutions, for example, we have different institutions like family, religion, media. judiciary parliament defense there are various institutions what if you get the as character of an institution is shaped by its leader can we write the examples from these perspective 
election commission is it an institution can i give the example of tn sashan character of an institution is shaped by its leader delhi metro ishri dharan example can be given satish dhawan isro example can be given judges we can give the example for significant judgments similarly political leaders lal bahadur shastri we can give the example defense forces sam manik shaw example can be given dr apj abdul kalam example can be given are you getting the point similarly the negative role hitler example can be given that how if the leader is not good it can lead to the downfall of the institution so we can give the example of hitler we can give the example of mussolini we can give the example of dr a q khan who was the nuclear director in context of pakistan you can have that paradox on one hand we have dr a p j abdul kalam on the other hand we have dr a q khan both have the intellect but the difference is one had the integrity one did not so a q khan had sold all the nuclear codes to western nations did you get the difference here so where do you get these examples post independence india world history use those things in your essay writing institution based essays there is another way <coughs> implication based this also can be used in philosophical essays individual <coughs> social national global this can also be used in philosophical essays absolutely you can write एक एग्जाम्पल देकर बताती हूँ <coughs> इस बार का ऐसे था देर कैन बी बेटर प्रैक्टिस और देर आर बेटर प्रैक्टिस टू द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस द इंटरप्रिटेशन से वी शुड नेवर से दिस इज द बेस्ट थिंग बिकॉज द मोमेंट यू से यू आर द बेस्ट दैट मीन्स देर इज नो स्कोप फॉर फर्दर इंप्रूवमेंट देर वुड बी स्टेगनेसी यू वुड नॉट फर्दर इवॉल्व सो यू शुड ऑलवेज लुक टू बिकम गुड बेटर बट नॉट बेस्ट बिकॉज देर इज नो बेस्ट there is always a better practice to a best practice can i take example from political angle can i take example from economy can i take example from technology can i take example from social issues did you get the point for example mid day meal we thought mid day meal is the best thing to ensure nutrition among children then came the concept of tithi bhojan government policies every time you are improving on the jawahar rozgar yojana se mg narega tak aaye सर्व शिक्षा अभियान से समग्र शिक्षा अभियान तक आए डिड यू गेट द पॉइंट सो देर इज ऑलवेज अ बेटर प्रैक्टिस टू बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस द सेम थिंग कैन बी एड्रेस्ड बेटर देन बेस्ट एट इंडिविजुअल लेवल बेटर देन बेस्ट एट सोशल लेवल बेटर देन बेस्ट एट नेशनल लेवल बेटर देन बेस्ट एट ग्लोबल लेवल you are already studying your economy polity history geography you just have to apply it here एक टाइम था ग्रीन रेवल्यूशन वॉज द बेस्ट स्ट्रेटेजी टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रेनबो रेवल्यूशन आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू एन एग्जाम्पल इज दिस वेरी क्लियर समटाइम देर वॉज अ बिलीफ मोनार्की इज द बेस्ट देन केम डेमोक्रेसी इज द बेस्ट विद इन डेमोक्रेसी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव डेमोक्रेसी कैन यू सी वी आर इवॉल्विंग सो देर इज ऑलवेज अ बेटर प्रैक्टिस देन बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस सो ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि फिलोसफिकल ऐसे एकदम अलग लिख नहीं कितने अलग जाओगे यार वही लिखना है इट्स जस्ट दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इज ओनली एग्जांपल्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू सपोर्ट द आर्ग्यूमेंट इन अ फिलोसफिकल एसे आई जस्ट टेक योर फाइव मोर मिनट्स एंड देन वील कम डाउन टू फिलोसफिकल एसे आर दीज एरियाज क्लियर फॉर एवरीवन सिमिलरली इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन हैव अ स्टेक होल्डर अप्रोच ऑल्सो ये आई थिंक आप लोग एथिक्स में बहुत यूज करते हो स्टेक होल्डर अप्रोच तो हम वेबल सेक्शन नहीं होता है वो हम स्टेक होल्डर अप्रोच में ले सकते हैं विमेन एस सी एस टी पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटी ओल्ड एज दीज आर नथिंग बट स्टेक होल्डर अप्रोच नहीं ऐसा नहीं होता नहीं द मोमेंट यू आई आई टेल यू द मोमेंट यू लुक एट द लार्जर पिक्चर ऑफ द एसे एग्जाम्पल इज जस्ट वन पार्ट ऑफ इट जस्ट गिव मी फाइव मिनट्स आई विल शो यू वॉट ऑल इज सपोज टू बी डन जस्ट गिव मी फाइव मिनट्स ठीक है द लास्ट थिंग बिफोर वी मूव टू द फिलोसफिकल एसे 
Just give me five minutes. I'll come to your question. Hmm. Conclusion. In simple words, I have written do's and don't. First, don't, don't summarize, which I've already told you. Second, don't be apologetic in tone. Desh bahut bure hal mein hai. Poverty rate is increasing. Hunger is a major problem. Economic distress is happening. Unemployment rate. Ye sab aap aise mein kar chuke hain already. Conclusion has to be optimistic. Conclusion has to be visionary. It has to be positive. In simple words, your conclusion has two parts to it. I said, I will mechanically break the entire structure. But before we delve into that, don't start a fresh argument. Do you realize, essay, the purpose is, you have raised an issue in the introduction. You have satisfied the issue, justified the issue in your body. Based on that, you have provided a futuristic vision. You cannot afford to start a new argument in the conclusion. Conclusion should give a sense of closure to the examiner that this is what is your opinion or perspective with respect to the topic. This is how you intend to convince him. Do not leave your essay open-ended. So do not start a fresh argument. Is that clear? Lastly, conclusion is not supposed to be written in one or two statements. Kam se kam 200 word ka conclusion hona chahiye. Deer so se 200 word. Abhi batati hun kaise likhte hain. Conclusion will have two parts. <coughs> Penultimate and ultimate. Penultimate is always a way forward. Now, you will see that we have to do philosophical essays. What is way forward? Kya <coughs> Philosophical essays mein kya poochte? There is a quotation which is given to us, right? Mostly we agree with the quote. See? Can you look that every quote is actually based on a certain wisdom, certain teachings? The personality, the issue of self-discovery has been outsourced to technology. Hand that rocks the cradle, rule the world. There are always better practices to best practices. Perception of me is reflection of you. In every quote, can you see the underlying wisdom? Way forward becomes how to develop that wisdom. Did you get the point? So even in philosophical essays, you have to write the way forward. Jisko Philosophical essays ke liye term use karte hain, prescription. How to develop the right kind of society. How to develop virtuous individuals. Army of principles can penetrate where army of soldiers cannot. I agree to this statement. Example Mahatma Gandhi. Example Ashoka's experience of Kalinga war. That how post he had adopted the policy of Dhamma and it was the principles. Similarly, the economic bilateral relations that how without using power through economics through trade you are trying to penetrate into each other's domain are you getting the point what I'm trying to say right now we have established this that army of principles can penetrate where army of soldiers cannot but then the challenge is how to develop principles so how to develop principles, how to ensure that every individual stand by his principles becomes the way forward in the philosophical essays. So I told you it is very mechanical. Conclusion will have two parts, come what may, whether issue based or philosophical. Penultimate means way forward or for philosophical you can write the prescription. Whereas ultimate is that overall inference that you draw. It means the <coughs> overall, uh, which last me punchline. A quote, I, um, vision ke mock test me thi. If you want to walk fast, walk alone. If you want to walk far, 
वॉक टूगेदर ठीक है समझो थोड़ा इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉक फास्ट वॉक अलोन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉक फार यू वॉन्ट टू वॉक टूगेदर कैन आई से तो अल्टीमेट पंच लाइन कैन बी सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास डिड यू गेट दट अल्टीमेट पंच लाइन दट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंश्योर द ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट द डेवलपमेंट हैज टू बी इंक्लूसिव डेवलपमेंट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉक फार यू हैव टू वॉक टूगेदर Is it making sense? एक बड़ा अच्छा example दिया था एक तो student अभी दिखा दूंगी टॉपर स्क्रिप्ट <coughs> इस बात पे कि हाउ ड्यूरिंग दिस कोविड डिजास्टर एवरी कंट्री वॉज बिजी मेकिंग देयर ओन वैक्सीन बिकॉज दे वॉन्टेड टू डेवलप द वैक्सीन एट अ फास्टर पेस सो दे वर वॉकिंग फास्ट क्योंकि दे वर वॉकिंग अलोन राइट बट वॉट वी फेल टू रियलाइज दैट कोविड हैज transnational or trans border implication so if you want to fight the menace of covid it has to be done together as a result india came up with the idea of vaccine maitri so if you want to walk far you need to walk together so if you want to end or fight the disaster of covid it has to be end everywhere just keeping your country safe would not serve the purpose ko yaar aa jayega travel karke ek se fail gaya infection did you get my point So can you see आप GS के एग्जाम्पल को फिलोसफिकल एसे में डाल रहे हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल उसी बंदे ने शुरुआत करी थी हिस्टोरिकल एग्जाम्पल्स देकर कि देर वर इंडिविजुअल फाइटर्स हु फाइटिंग फॉर द इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ इंडिया एंड दे डिड गेट द रिजल्ट बट द रिजल्ट वॉज वेरी शॉर्ट टर्म बट वेन द फाइट ट्रांसफॉर्मड इन टू अ मास मोबिलाइजेशन एंड मास मूवमेंट बाय महात्मा गांधी देन इट रिजल्टेड इन टू द इंडिपेंडेंस सो इफ यू वॉक फास्ट you walk alone but if you want to walk far you have to walk together history ka example ho gaya covid ka example ho gaya are you getting development ka example ho gaya economy ka yahi karna hai aapko democracy ye to kehta hi hai participative consultative right so philosophical topic examples from your current affairs can we proceed now नहीं ऐसा नहीं है दैट इज द वे यू हैव टू राइट सी देर आर टू वेज यू हैव टू गिव द आर्ग्यूमेंट राइट सो डायमेंशन सर्व द पर्पज ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट ओके आई जस्ट आंसर योर क्वेरी वेट लेट मी जस्ट गिव मी वन मिनट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दी एस ए कैन बी डिफरेंट इस बंदी का था एक सेकेंड Is it visible for you guys? Oh, एक second. Can you see? Is it visible for everyone? Read. If you want to walk fast, walk alone. But if you want to walk far, walk together. Two years, eleven months, eighteen days. That's how long drafting of Indian. <coughs> constitution took it involves several thousand drafts consultation with people across parties region religion ransacking of major constitution of the world political theorists across the world predicted its early demise given india's diversity poverty illiteracy 75 years later it still stands tallest among the constitution of the world imbibing the spirit of transformative constitutionalism and ideals of liberty equality fraternity juxtapose it to hasty legislature process without widespread stakeholder consultation marred by widespread opposition and resistance to implementation as seen in case of recent farm bills result may be fast but not sustain far introduction dikha sabko collective effort dikha theek hai second paragraph where you have to establish the relevance of your first part to the topic the above example emphasize on the importance of walking together to go far establish kiya but why can't one walk fast and still act together am i giving you the impression what i'm going to discuss in the essay without telling you exactly why can one not go far when alone is it possible to be both fast and together can one be alone and still go far 
The essay attempts to answer these questions to emphasize that sustainability of the process depends upon the values of brotherhood, interest, value consensus, and multiculturalism. Did you get the point? And now the <coughs> essay is written. On the other hand, the same essay is attempted by other student, but the example given was history. On one hand, we had the revolutionaries. On the other hand, we had the leaders who had promoted mass mobilization. And then the approach to essay was very different. Essence was same. Both were agreeing to the fact that you have to walk together. But this person, I think her, she is ranked 60 this year. So her approach was she also made it a point that you can walk fast, still you can be together. So that one added dimension was there. So the moment you are preparing the questions to be posed in the introduction, that will add newness to your essay. Each one of you will approach the same essay differently, but each one of you will have the same underlying essence. That is how it has to be written. Did you get my point? Okay, monotony nahi aati hai. See? Abhi aur dikha dungi, to aur clear ho jayega. Let me see if I have any other. एक कोई सिंपल सा उठा के दिखाती हूँ तुम लोग को ये देखते हैं एक सेकंड गाइस जस्ट गिव मी वन मिनट हम्म इज इट विजिबल फॉर एवरीवन Clear hai sabko? Dikh hai? Hai? The topic was army of principles can penetrate where army of soldiers cannot. Can you see a distressed Parth asked Keshav, how would he be able to defeat an army of Kaurav, which famed the best warriors and his beloved elders? Keshav answered that he must fight with absolute principles as only then he would be able to fulfill his dharm. In the end, Pandav successfully defeated Herculean army as their side fought with principles. The epic of Mahabharat enshrines the crux of this statement. Can you see the first part? Kibat second part, you are linking it with the topic. The epic of Mahabharat enshrines the crux of this statement. Principles have also proven to win battles and heart in the long history several times. Third part of your introduction. In this essay, we shall I, nay. We shall try to understand the importance of principles in human life. We also would try to understand the ways of leading a life of principles through examples of great men. Up shuru hoti hai body. What are principles? What are different agencies of developing the principles? Then to justify you are giving the examples of different men who have fought through their principles in different walk of life whether social political economic cultural exactly exactly or wo bhi sirf do pages examples kitne likhoge aage piche to argument hi de rahe ho na maximum <coughs> two pages you have to write the examples but the moment you write the example you give an impression to the examiner you have understood the topic from different dimensions clear hai can we proceed samajh aa raha hai <coughs> so far, whatever we have discussed is everything clear. Okay. Now, I wanted to discuss with you. Uh, I just wanted to discuss one philosophical topic. Uh, can we call someone? Please, kisi ko bol sakte ho. Oh, just ask someone to come. Till then, I'll just give you an idea. I just wanted... <coughs> okay, okay, thank you. Please come. I just wanted to give you an idea that when we are aiming philosophical essay, I'll tell you, ye koi hard and fast rule nahi hai. I was preparing one of my lectures, right, of essay writing only, I think two years back. 
and then while just preparing the lecture i realized that this is how we can explore philosophical essay in four stages there are four stages interpretation explanation interpretation explanation third exemplification examples dena exemplification and fourth is prescription fourth is prescription can i say interpretation forms the introduction explanation and examples forms the body and prescription forms the penultimate conclusion i discussed two topics i just showed you the introduction right now in both the topics the introduction did constitute the interpretation by the student whatsoever was the interpretation of the student it was reflected in the introduction the body is all about two things one you have to explain the topic and second along with the explanation you have to give examples to justify that explanation for example life is a long journey from human being to being humane right so what is your understanding what do you mean by human being it's a biological concept how it is different from being humane because being humane is a moral concept it's a virtuous concept can we say being humane matlab kind warm compassionate creative are you getting the point that is being humane now how do you develop that character or virtues of being humane through socialization why it is known as a long journey can your values be shaped in one night right from the womb till tomb your value system is getting shaped by different agencies at different point of time can we mention all of that so did you get the point how the arguments can be different and how those arguments have to be justified through examples everyone each one of us is human being not necessarily we have that quality of being humane so can we give examples of those who have turned into being humane because world remembers those who are being humane mother teresa mahatma gandhi are you getting what i'm trying to say this is how it has to be assumed theek hai ek bar jaldi se dekhte hain ek philosophical essay <coughs> this is what i made you write interpretation explanation exemplification and prescription in simple words what do you understand by the quote that is the first thing do you agree with the statement largely we do agree with the statement you should it is and having an underlying wisdom one should not refute the statement outrightly nahi nahi there is no better practice to best practice it doesn't work like this nahi nahi we haven't outsourced self discovery to technology are we are governed by technology only today social media tells you whether you are desirable or not social media tells you whether you are physically attractive or not you we don't have that confidence social media tells which career to follow so yes self discovery what kind of qualities we have it has been outsourced to technology uh, <laughs> juvenile lagega facebook pe aksar wo game aate hai na ye question answer karo ye aapki personality batayenge aapke naam ke through aapki birth date ke through and aur wo padh ke hum log kehte wow it is so true aisa nahi hota it's just that you are only looking at those words which you want to pick and they are very smart they never highlight the negative qualities so everybody is very happy oh and then they repost it also on facebook ki look my name means this this is what my character is saying khud mein to confidence hi nahi tha so the process of self discovery has been outsourced to technology did you get the point so somewhere deep down the line you are agreeing to the quotes so do you agree with the statement uh by the way these four questions you have to ask yourself while choosing the topic what do you mean by the quote do you agree with the quote
can you justify the court through examples from different walks of life what do you prescribe based on the wisdom provided by the court if you can answer these four things choose the topic else do not <coughs> perception of me is a reflection of you my reaction to you is an awareness of me is bar ka topic tha ye theek hai ek bar do bar line theek se pad lo perception of me is reflection of you so what you think about me <coughs> with respect to let us suppose you have a negative attitude towards me and i have not said or done anything but despite that you have built a negative attitude so that is not saying things about my personality that is speaking more about your personality right read this the grey haired sudha murti dressed in a plain salwar kameez was sitting in the boarding area at london airport she stood up to join the queue for the business class flight to bangalore after boarding announcement was made the moment she stepped out of the queue to get some water from the nearby dispenser the women in front of her turned sideways approached her in an uncanny manner and asked her to show her boarding pass Well, this line is meant for business class travelers only. The woman said confidently, pointing her fingers towards the economy class queue. She said, "You should go and stand there." Instead of furthering the conversation with the woman, Sudha Murthy moved forward in the queue. The women were eagerly waiting to see what would happen when she handed over her boarding pass to the attendant. The women smiled, greeted her and moved to the next traveler. The first part of the introduction done. You could have shortened it. I have written in detail just to tell you. The story indicates that the lady who judged Sudha Murthy just on the basis of her simple attire is a reflection of her own prejudices, perceptions, preconceived notions about dressing style. being the barometer of your success and money on the other hand very poised reaction of mrs murthy tells a lot about her awareness about herself how her success will do all the talking without indulging with ignorant people did i tell the reader exactly my understanding of the topic have i addressed both the parts of the quotation through this example have i linked it theek hai i have added one more story this you can read later theek hai <coughs> i have added quotes but one piece of advice philosophical essay should not be started with a quote it would seem one quote is being followed by another quote so in between the essays you can write the quote but do not start now see this i wanted to highlight In this essay, ये third part of your introduction है. In this essay, we will explore following aspects. What do you mean by perception? यहाँ पे आप सब vary करोगे. जिसकी जो understanding होगी, वो लिखेगा. What do you mean by perception? What are the factors that impacts the concept of perception? To what extent perception of others is impacted by your own traits? examples to justify the argument so example is coming at number 4 it is just one part how our reaction is reflection of our awareness through examples and what do you prescribe based on the wisdom so all the first five is the body this becomes the penultimate conclusion but have i given let's say you guys are the reader did you get an understanding a brief understanding what you can get to see in the essay ठीक है वॉट डू यू मीन बाय परसेप्शन आई हैव आंसर्ड ऑल द क्वेश्चन वॉट फैक्टर्स अच्छा नाउ दीज क्वेश्चन कैन ऑल्सो बिकम योर सब हेडिंग इट कैन बिकम योर सब हेडिंग सो यू कैन गो इन डिटेल एंड यू कैन रीड दिस सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाय परसेप्शन वॉट फैक्टर्स इम्पैक्ट पर्सन परसेप्शन how and why your traits affect the perception you develop about others because it is your value system your experience kabhi kabhi hota hai na koi aapse milne aaya aapka subah se mood waisi kharab tha aapne jhad ke bhaga diya 
so this is very normal and this you would face in the interview boat <laughs> sometimes it may happen that the person is you know meeting aspirants not as per as per to the expectation so maybe they are not in the right kind of mood or somebody has answered something which had antagonized them or upset them so it might happen subjectivity is always there theek hai for example the way you see someone could be affected even how your day went before meeting them what kind of mood you were when you spoke to them so if you have a negative opinion of me that's based on nothing i actually did or said is only proof of what kind of negativity you are carrying inside so the first part is answered the second part however the way i choose to react to your opinion tell what kind of a person i am so i have made a comparative analysis i choose to respond or retaliate i choose to be defensive or offensive i choose to remain unperturbed or become nervous i am confident even after the perception that you have or i have started doubting my capabilities i am revengeful or am empathizing with you suppose you came you got angry with the other person theek hai and then you choose to take revenge how dare he speak to me in this tone or you choose to empathize yaar bechara hai mood sahi nahi hoga it's okay the kind of response that you are making to others will tell what level of emotional intelligence you have developed aa gaya emotional intelligence yahan pe aa gaya aapka ethics yahan par so your attitude how you are reacting or managing your emotions everything you study in your ethics paper examples can we take cyber bullying as the example people who troll without even knowing you right can we take the example of religious caste based bigotry where people have developed the prejudices they are fine hum social issues wagera jab padhte hain ethics jab padhte hain hum ek prejudice topic karte hain na and many a times the prejudice that we are developing with respect to other has more to do with the inadequacies in our personality right debate around death penalty concept of non violence communal polarization for votes example from the life of the people forgot sister example de sakte hain time tha mana kiya tha but now they are winning laurels for the nation similarly elon musk he was being criticized many a times for his adventures what whatever <coughs> work he was doing endeavors and lately he has proven everyone wrong right conclusion conclusion will have two parts the first part is the way forward so whether how would you develop that self awareness how would you develop that emotional intelligence can we quote bhagavad gita can we quote buddha's eightfold path we can talk about the development of value system through different agencies of socialization value based education right kind of value system through media vicarious reinforcement through media jab media right kind of people ko appreciate karta hai then chances of replicating that behavior by a common man is very high use kehte hain vicarious reinforcement aur aap ye sab ethics mein padhte ho so that becomes the solution did you get the point now is it looking monotonous it will not because everyone will have different examples everyone will have different approach to the essay but ek cheez common hogi introduction ke teen parts body mein sare dimensions ko discuss karna aur conclusion ke do parts penultimate and ultimate that would remain the same is that clear so last thing which i'll show it to you that overall structure of essay how it would look like this would be the last thing if this is my overall essay it will look like this fifty two hundred words fifty words fifty words seven hundred to eight hundred words Hundred to one fifty words and fifty words. This is penultimate. This is ultimate. This is body. This is part one, part two, part three. 
दिस इज हाउ द ओवरऑल एस ए वुड लुक लाइक और ये दिखना चाहिए ऐसे में अभी तक मैंने आपको जो भी ऐसे दिखाया उसमें दिख रहा था ना जो टॉपर्स ने लिखा है दिखता है वंस यू स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग इट इज एविडेंट एंड दीज टॉपर्स स्क्रिप्ट्स आर देयर ऑन योर प्लेटफॉर्म यू कैन रीविजिट दैम इफ आई हैव टू सजेस्ट लेट मी सी हू स्क्रिप्ट आई वुड सजेस्ट Last year, Divyanshu Nigam, rank forty-four. The script is there on the portal. Visit that. It's a good script. Very well-written essays. Then you can also refer to Shristi. Last year, rank seventy-eight, I guess. Her scripts are also good. Then, Peace Rija, rank twenty. Her scripts are also good. Peace Rija, rank twenty last year. so you can refer this year rank 5 utkarsh he has a decent style of writing you can refer to that very um, enriched essays then shrushti to dekh hi sakte hain but uh, she has a good acha ek student hai um, abhi main aise dikha nahi rahi because we will get uh, nervous ronak i think rank 13 ek bar dekhna he had that flair of writing poems so initially to i used to thought ki shayad kahin padhi hogi but every essay he used to start with a poem and he used to end with a poem and what a brilliant way of writing i think last year rank 13 that is don't get intimidated kabhi kabhi hota hai na achhi cheez padhni chahiye so only for that sake i'm saying go visit he also has a very good knack of writing these things so you will understand what i mean when i say originality right uske alawa purani scripts hain kuch um i think सौम्या लास्ट टू लास्ट ईयर की स्टूडेंट होगी सौम्या उसकी देखना सिंपल राइटिंग एंड वेरी इफेक्टिव सो सौम्या का देख सकते हो आई थिंक रैंक नाइन्थ थी सौम्या सो लास्ट टू लास्ट ईयर एक बार जाके बस सर्च कॉलम में डालना तो आ जाएगा सो गो थ्रू दीज स्क्रिप्ट यू विल गेट एन आइडिया वॉट आई एम एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू टेल यू इज दैट क्लियर सो वो जो बेसिक डाउट्स थे इज एवरी थिंग क्लियर basic understanding now it is your job to practice more and more and you will get the hang of it okay the more you kehte uh, na sweat in peace the less you bleed in war so let's do that now okay chalo on this note i conclude the lecture and i hope you've understood some art and science about essay writing okay chalo take care people